Grady the calf was a lucky six-year-old Hereford cow, weighing more than 1,200 pounds, belonging to a local Yukon, Oklahoma farmer, Bill Mock, and his wife, Alane, who lived south of the current I-40 along Highway 92 that we now call Garth Brooks Boulevard. On February 1949, when Grady was having difficulty giving birth to a calf, Bill called the veterinarian, Dr. Crump, for help. The cow was a little wild, so she was corralled in a shed and eventually she gave birth to a calf. Grady was ready to get out of that shed and the only light she saw was coming from an opening in the silo. She bolted into the 17 inch by 25 and a half inch opening, approximately the size of a newspaper page. It happened so fast that the mocks couldn't believe she could possibly slip through that size of an opening unharmed. The news traveled like wildfire, and after the, after the dilemma was published in the local newspaper, the Yukon Sun, it eventually became worldwide news of Grady being stuck in a silo and unable to move enough to get out. The mocks were receiving calls and telegrams from everywhere, day and night, giving advice on how to free Grady from the silo. The vet told Mr. Mock that she got herself into the silo, so hopefully she'd figure her own way out. But that didn't happen. They gave her food and water every day for at least five days. There were so many suggestions sent to them on how to get her out, such as fill the silo with water and float her to the top, build a platform and gradually raise her to the top, or take the silo down. But they didn't want to destroy it or even butcher her. None of the solutions were practical that were suggested. Luckily, on the fifth day, the Denver Post called Bill and told him they were sending a farm editor and a veterinarian by airplane to get that cow out for him. It was kept a secret until they got to Yukon of what they were going to do. There were approximately 350 people at the mocks waiting to see how these people from Denver were going to free Grady. The vet gave Grady a shot of the same medication used in sleeping pills and they greased her up. They built a platform and heaved and pushed her up while she came to. With a little help from Grady, she eventually squeezed through that opening almost as fast as she went in. Grady lived a long and happy life with the Mocks until she was 18 years old and died of old age. The Mock family eventually sold the farm and the silo was demolished on December 30th, 1997 to make room for building the Integris Hospital in Yukon. Even though the silo is gone with Grady the cow, the story lives through books and people telling about it through generations.